Situated in the heart of Central America, Nicaragua has since 2018 been experiencing a major political crisis. The Ortega Murillo presidential clan, in power for 15 years, stands accused today of serious human rights violations and of crimes against humanity. The situation is explosive, and the country is gradually plunging into a dictatorship. To understand how we have reached this point, let's take a look back. In 1984, Daniel Ortega, a member of the FSLN, the Sandinista National Liberation Front, won the elections for the first time. But we are in the throes of the Cold War, and the opposition to the FSLN is calling for a boycott supported by the United States that fears the emergence of a communist country. The result, an embargo and the civil war with the Contras, an armed opposition movement trained by the CIA, will bleed the country's economy dry, and 30,000 lives will be lost. In 1990, Violeta Chamorro, member of the National Union of the Opposition, beats Daniel Ortega in the elections. She opens the country up to a free market economy, causing significant social regression. In 1996, Daniel Ortega loses the election once again, this time to Arnaudo Aleman, a former high-ranking civil servant of the Somoza family. Yet he makes a pact to share power with Aleman and overhauls the constitution and laws. This maneuver enables Ortega to be re-elected with few votes and indefinitely. During this period, he is accused of corruption, forming an alliance with the political opposition, contacting terrorists, and raping his adopted daughter. In spite of this, Ortega is once again re-elected president 10 years later, in 2006, with an ambitious social program. Free education and healthcare, reducing infant mortality, and building roads. He is re-elected in 2011 and again in 2016, accompanied by his very controversial spouse, Rosario Murillo, who is elected vice president of the republic. The two of them will set up an increasingly autocratic regime, concentrating all of the state's powers in their hands. In April 2018, yet another reform of social security is conducted to reduce public debt, all on the backs of employees and retirees who decide to take to the streets and are joined by students. The demonstrations are violently repressed, and very quickly, in the face of such repression, the event becomes the starting point for the protest movement against Ortega's government. The president is accused of abusing power, having distorted the Sandinista revolution, silencing any political opposition, and having enriched himself illegally. The tally? 328 deaths, over 2,000 injured, and hundreds arrested for terrorism or sedition. Over 100,000 people are forced to flee the country. Ortega's government establishes a repression that plunges Nicaragua into a profound crisis where human rights are increasingly flouted, extrajudiciary executions, incarceration for political reasons, and arrests for peaceful demonstrating. CNIDH, as well as eight other NGOs, are stripped of their legal status and accused by the Ortega government of financing an attempt coup d'etat. Many human rights defenders and journalists, after several aggressive attacks organized by the country's military and paramilitary forces, are also forced into exile. Despite multiple alerts from the national organizations and the international community, Nicaragua is sinking into a dictatorship, fear and terror. The documentation work carried out by FIDH and CNIDH in Nicaragua in recent months paints a picture of regular and sustained attacks on any person considered to be opposition to the regime. Today, part of the country continues to resist. Several human rights defenders and journalists are still working in the country in spite of the situation. But the population is finding it increasingly harder to express itself, and international support is waning. For the situation to stop, the international community must speak out. FIDH and CNIDH are keeping up the fight for human rights to be respected, political prisoners freed, and for victims to see justice done. The country mustn't veer even further down the path toward becoming a totalitarian dictatorship. Nicaragua must be heard.